Today's reading is going to be all about what's transforming for you over the next 12 months. So the way that I want to approach this reading is I want to take a look at love, at uh, career, and then after I look at those two to see if we can get some final messages through and I'll call that section life. So for each of the piles, I want to kind of break it into three segments. Now, this reading will be posted very close to the year anniversary of the very first reading on the channel, which is super exciting. And I wanted to do something that was a little bit of a nod to that journey and an acknowledgement of how much can change in one year. So I really hope you enjoy, enjoy this reading. Before I do the introduction, I just want to send out a massive, huge thank you to you guys for the love and the support, whether it's through the likes, the shares or the comments or whatever it is, or the energy that you're giving to the channel and to me um, and helping the channel to grow and to reach more and more people. It means so much to me and I'm really taken aback by the support that's been out there. So sending you so much love and gratitude. Okay, so let's have a look at our piles to choose from. So for pile one, we have this beautiful skull and this one always reminds me of rainbow fluorite because of the colouring. You've got the purple and the greens through it and it's paired with the marigold tarot. All of these skulls are from the lovely Katie on Etsy. I'll link her store in the description. This one here, I think I've had this one the longest. If you're drawn to this one, you'll be pile one or to the tarot deck or maybe you're just drawn to the number one or in this direction. For pile two, you have the skull with the snake weaving through. So if you're drawn to that one, that one usually sits here on my table. You may have seen it in previous videos if you've been here before. And it's paired with the Mystic Soul Tarot. A gorgeous deck as well. So if you're drawn there or perhaps your eyes are just pulled here, you'll be pile two. And the third pile, you have this gorgeous, vibrant blue. This one is very glowy and it sits over on a table in this room. And when I come in at night, it's very bright. Um, you might be called to this color. I have a lot of this color scheme. You've no doubt noticed around um, the stuff that I use, but if you are called to this skull with its beautiful pattern or the RWS, the very traditional um, style tarot, you'll be pile three. So feel free to pause for as long as you like, take as long as you need to choose your pile. And as always, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't for anybody who's new here. I'll timestamp each pile and I'll see you at your pile. Okay, beautiful pile one. Let's pop your skull over there. Let's get your love cards out. Move your other cards there and let's have a look. So for pile one, for love, you have got the Knight of Wands. The Eight of Swords. The Chariot, the Queen of Wands, okay, you're ready, Leo, and Structure, okay, so big fire energy here, Pile 1, some of you may have a prominent fire placement in your sun, moon or rising, or you may be dealing with someone who does. But what this looks like to me is that over the next 12 months in love, you are really going to be taking control here. And for some of you, this is going to mean potentially cutting out connections that are not feeling to you like they are moving anywhere because you feel like you're ready to from this energy here to move into 
something that is um, more structured, more defined. And there could be, if there is someone around you who is, you feel things aren't moving or aren't progressing and you feel like they are preventing you from moving forward into a connection that is more structured and has more, um, you know, if someone doesn't want, to, let's say, it doesn't want a label, I feel like you could be cutting ties with them. You could be saying, okay, that's not working for me. I'm going to stop myself from um, trying to make this into something that that person isn't putting the effort into. So we'll be clarifying in a moment. But for those of you who connect with a connection that you are feeling frustrated in, that maybe they're saying, who knows, maybe in time, or there's something that you've been waiting on and it hasn't unfolded. I feel like you, for some of you, it won't be for everyone, maybe saying to yourself, I'm not going to keep looking that in that direction. The reason you're going to do that, I feel, is one, because you're ready, but also because you have other options and you're going to become quickly aware of them. So as we move into the new year, and I'm I'll have a look what they are. But as we move into the new year, I feel like this is going to put you in a different um, frame of mind and a different energy as well. Because with all this fire energy coming through, I don't feel it's just about signs, even for those of you who connect with having those fire placements. I feel like with the chariot in reverse, there's a sense of recognizing that you don't need to put yourself out there because there are others who are very interested in connecting with you and you're able to attract. You don't need to um, chase anything. And I'm not saying that you have been chasing, but some of you may have someone around who has kind of been a bit of a block to um, others coming in. All right. So whilst you may have been attracting them, you can have a, a magnetic um presence and then someone blocking the pathway for others to be pulled in because they're like oh well this thing's in the way you know there's a block but you may be feeling like okay I'm going to remove that block and allow these other things or these other people to come in because I'm now aware of my own um presence and what I bring to the table here so there's a real shift in your energy I feel coming in and also a recognition for many of you that you're wanting to have a different sort of relationship, something maybe with more structure. Maybe it could be traditional for some of you. It doesn't have to be. But when it's talking about structure, I feel like this is something that is not, well, obviously structure is something that you understand, people both sides understand what's going on. So you could have been dealing with situations where, Things were unclear, things were foggy, things were hazy. It could have even, for a few of you, been an ex who kind of kept one foot in the door and one foot out. And so you were never quite sure if they were going to return. And I'm getting a confirmation as I'm doing that, as I'm as saying that. So um, that, I feel, will be for someone. But let's have a look. I want to come down here because I feel that this is your energy, this Queen of Wands energy. Regardless of gender, we're talking about energy. But I feel like... This one is the one that's pulling towards me. So I I want to start there and I want to get some more information. Tell me what's going on for pile one in the next 12 months, please. In love. Yeah, look at this. You have options and you have someone who's going to make their um, emotion felt to you, I, like their feelings known to you. That's what I'm feeling here. But there still feels to me like there's another person who's around who potentially comes in and out of your life. That Knight of Wands can do that. But particularly with the other cards are, that are around it, Yeah, see, so it could be that um, this person has been waiting for an opportunity to connect with you. And we've got this five of wands. Let's look on the bottom, the moon. So they may not even be um, sure of your feelings for them or if you'd be interested in them initially. So 
this could be someone coming in over the next year. Not sure if you are interested in them. And look at that, three. Now, this won't be for everyone, but I am going to put it out there. Just be aware, pile one, that, that for some of you, this person, if you're connecting with a message of having someone around you where, you know, you feel like that connection's not really growing into anything structured and you related to what I was saying a moment ago, that once another person comes around and lets their feelings for you be known, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to disappear. Because this three of pentacles, I have seen it come up in readings before when there's sometimes been three people involved. So you might find that you end up in a situation where you have more than one person interested in you. Or if it's not that person, you could have multiple people um, to choose from. So I feel like the next 12 months for you, you're going to have decisions to make around love. Um, I'll have a look for those of you who are already in connections in a moment, but this is what's coming through initially with this reading. And I feel like because you're ready for something that's more structured, you're going to be careful about how you, who you connect with and how you connect with people. And the thing that comes through very strong for your cards here is that you're not going to be, um, how do I word it? You're not going to be overextending yourself all right so for some of you in the past there could have been situations where you felt like you were giving a lot to connections feeling like the more you gave the stronger the connection would get or the more grounded or the more structured it would get and that never came about and so there's a recognition now that a you don't need to do that because there are many others around you who are interested in you and they're willing to put in their fair share of work, which may not have happened in the past. And B, that also the recognition that the more you give doesn't necessarily mean the more structured something becomes because it's up to the other person and how they feel about you and about the connection and where they're at in their life whether they're even ready for a connection. So I feel like you are very careful who you engage with and who you give your time to. But just be aware that um, for those of you who are single moving into next year, I feel like there's potentially more than one person going to be around you. And it could be someone from the past who you're going, this isn't going anywhere. It's not moving. I need to clear that connection with that person in order to let others back in but they're not necessarily going to just wander off okay so it would be up to you um and also with this five of wands you could have still have feelings for someone from the past so you may have some conflict about moving forward with someone else so yeah choices choices around love over the next 12 months but a recognition that you're ready for something more serious and really looking at those around you and the devil just peeked through there so yeah there could be some unfinished business with someone or something that just a relationship that keeps bouncing back someone that just keeps sticking their head out of the woodworks okay especially if they hear someone else is around but your energy shifting here Pile one, your energy is shifting from a place of perhaps hoping that things would work out with this person to saying, I'm ready for something more structured. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready for maybe some new um, energy into this, you know, some new spark, somebody new. Okay, those in connections, let's have a look. Show me for those already in a connection, please. I feel like most of you are not in a connection watching this. It's not to say you all aren't. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. All right. So even fire energy um, coming through again here and earth energy. So I feel like those of you who are in a connection, next year is a really good year for deep that connection deepening, growing, and the two of you building um, 
the abundance within the connection. And, and I don't necessarily mean, for some of you, it could be the material abundance, like building a home together or building some kind of future together. But I feel like the, the beautiful things within the connection, like building um, your memories together and things like that, okay, shared experience. So I feel like there's a lot of deepening going on for you, Pile One, in love next year. And if there's someone around that is blocking that or preventing that, there's a big reassessment of their role in your life. And many of you will decide that if someone is blocking you and you don't feel like that connection is going anywhere, and they've, for some of you, told you flat out that they don't want something serious, then you're making uh, clearing the pathway to allow someone else to enter. Because definitely I'm getting a very strong um, feeling and indication from these cards that you have options coming in so and you're not out looking for them that's what i get here this is not to me feeling like an energy of pole one going out and looking far and wide for their person it feels like it's time and it's interesting because you've got your ready but it also feels like it's time like it's the right timing as well so everything within you feels ready but also externally it's like things in your world uh, lining up as well so there's no need to push and you sense that as well it's like I'm not going to um, exert myself or overextend myself or put too much of myself or give too much of myself to a connection um, I'm just going to maybe give what what that person gives and I don't mean that in a game playing way what I mean is that for some of you in pile one, I do get a strong sense that there may have been some overgiving in the past in order to try and create some structure when the relationship or the person, they might they just weren't the right person or they weren't ready for it. And so you put in a lot and gave a lot of yourself and didn't necessarily get back the same from the other person. And so now it's like, okay, now the timing's right. Now I'm ready. I know that um, the person who is also ready to be with me, they'll be giving as much as I'm giving. So love looks really beautiful, I have to say that. It does look very nice for you next year, pile one. Okay, let's move on to career. Okay, all right, career. Let's pop career there. Let's have a look. You have got the world, the ace of wands, the five of cups, the emperor. Remember who you are when people tell you otherwise. Depth, mountain. Wow, so pile one, it could be a couple of messages here. So for some of you, you may actually have a change of career because you've got the world and the Ace of Wands. But for others, this could be the change of like the change of one position for another. And with the Emperor here, it could be a stepping up even into a, some sort of position as um, some sort of leadership position or some role. You've got the mountain as well, so some role that is supporting others or helping others. It's interesting that you've got remember who you are when people tell you otherwise and the five of cups. So I feel like the five of cups is likely um, connected with this world card and the five of cups can be about disappointment. So it could be that because you feel not satisfied or you feel disappointed um, somewhat with maybe what you're doing, that you decide to up it a notch or take it. It feels like taking it further for most of you to me. Like I'm going to take on extra responsibility, not necessarily leaving and going somewhere else. A few of you could do that, but there's something about I'm not going to miss an opportunity here. I'm going to take an opportunity and I'm going to go after something that is 
a bit bigger. It feels bigger with this Emperor card. And with remember who you are when people tell you otherwise, I will say that you may, it won't apply to everyone, but you may have um, one or two people saying to you, you can't do that or do you think that that's a good move for you? Like, do you think you'd be well suited to it? But Spirit's asking you to remember the truth of who you are. And with depth sitting straight underneath underneath it, there's two things with depth, particularly next to valley, because the one thing that comes to my mind is um, mountain and depth to me is like mountain and valley. It's like you have experienced highs and lows, perhaps in the area of career. And this could symbolize as well that for many of you in pile one, you have been in positions where you have maybe had to start at the very bottom of jobs or be in positions that were considered like starter jobs. You know, like I know most people have had starter jobs, but I'm saying maybe you've been in positions where you've had to take, you know, orders off someone or, you know, you do this or you do that. And so you know what it's like to be here. So in some ways that can really be a helpful well, not just in some ways, in many ways, that can be a really helpful thing to have in order to be here because then you know, and I like the way that with this mountain imagery, I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but can you see the outline there? It's like there's even further to go. So I feel like it's like this is like a step for you, but you're going to even move further. So the next 12 months, I feel like you're going to take some step in your career that is going to be like a pathway that you will continue, like a trajectory that continues you on even further down. For some of you, there could even be a form of study or some type of further learning that goes hand in hand with this. So as I said, study, I was getting on the job. So there could be something on the job that you're learning that takes you even further along after the 12 month period, because I'm being drawn to this um this here as well so there's something about where you've been that informs where you're going and even though others may and doesn't when I say others it doesn't mean everyone but even though there may be one or two people that have limited scope to see you in your full capacity because they're looking at where you've been they're not understanding that where people have been informs where they can go because it can you know people who are prepared to take on life lessons and grow from their experiences, take that knowledge with them and then are able to use that knowledge and to help others. And so I feel like this is a big thing that Spirit's talking to you about, that you're going to be completing some chapter in your career, but it doesn't necessarily mean moving from career. It means completing one stage and stepping up. So I hope that that's making sense to those of you who were drawn to pile one because it feels like for many of you to me you already are planning this or that you see this coming that's just my sense that I'm getting as I'm moving through it um now when I talk about this five of uh five of cups down here it's like where you are now it's like it worked while it worked but now you're ready to do something else. And that's kind of back to your love message, right? Where it said you're ready. But I feel like in career, you're ready to move across from here to the mountains. And I don't feel that you're necessarily still in the depth. You could be somewhere along this coastline at the moment, you know, kind of between, like you've worked your way somewhere, but now you want to take a next step, a next step. And it's because you've been here and so some of you may even use that knowledge to help you to get there. So a way that is coming to me as I'm saying that is, for example, someone in a job interview, say they went for a promotion, could say, well, because I worked in this part of the um, business, I understand exactly how it works and I know the people there really well. And so that will help, that, that will help me in communicating and having rapport with people and understanding the inner workings of it that kind of thing doesn't have to be that but that's what it feels like to me so let's have a look and clarify and see what else we can see here pile, pile one I keep going to say pile two for you I don't know why okay show me more about this ace of wands please spirit for pile one
So as I was shuffling then, I was just getting the words daycare and I'm not sure where I got daycare. I don't know if daycare is like an area that someone's working in or if daycare is something that you need to consider if it's a factor in this. I'm not sure how that plays into this or why that is coming through, but I'll just pass it through. And also factory, I'm getting something about a factory. Also nursing, there's something about nursing coming through too. Uh, with this, sorry, I'm just being drawn back up here. So I'm not quite, I'm, there's a message trying to come through. I'm not quite getting it. I'm getting told to tell them about the video. I'm not sure what that means, tell them about the video. I don't know if there's some sort of um, video on what you're learning or you're showing or making something. I'm not, I'm not sure what that is, sorry. I'm just going to pass it through. Okay, let's come up here. Okay. You know, whatever it is that you're um, going to be doing with career in the next 12 months, I feel like you may initially dismiss it, even those of you who are thinking about it at this time. Even if you have a thought in your head that if that opportunity comes up, I'm going to take it. I feel like when the opportunity comes, you may think, mm, yes, and uh, no, you know, like that kind of hesitation. But look, there we go. So Ace of Wands, I feel like you're being encouraged to go for it. And look at this. Remember who you are when people tell you otherwise. So, of course, you, you, you need to make your best judgment depending on where you're at. But if an opportunity for a promotion or something that costs you nothing to take that chance comes up and it's like there's nothing to lose, I feel spirit saying, why not? You know, that, that's the kind of feeling I'm getting. Like, why not? If you have got nothing to lose, it's like th there's no reason not to, you know. It's, so why is this Four of Cups coming up? Yeah, it's a self-talk. This is the thing that you need to be aware of, but also um, not letting anything anyone said to you in the past about any limitations that others perceive because I don't feel like they're real. If anyone perceives any limitations of you or has you in a box because of um, past careers that you've had or past jobs maybe you've even worked together or something like that or that they feel like, you know, you'll be moving into a position and moving away from some work that they do or something like that. I feel like you're being asked not to let your mind um, be over, not to overthink other people's limitations, not even to entertain them. Just be in your own truth, okay? Remember who you are because you have the capacity because of somewhere you've been. And I don't feel like others see this about you. I don't feel like others see what you have grown to understand from that and what you've taken away from past learnings, like in terms of career. So I'll just pull a couple more on career and then I'm going to go into the general messages and see what we get through. Anything else on career, please, Spirit? I'm being given the name Sandra. I don't know if that's um, a connection for someone or someone's name. Just passing it through. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, look, there's something also to do with um, you having the skills here. Uh, hang on. For... Don't be modest. That's what I feel like here. You have more skills than maybe you um, voice out loud or then you even acknowledge to yourself. So don't be afraid to stand up and really flaunt what you've got, you know, in terms of your abilities, in terms of your skills, and also in terms of the networking that you have, because I feel like 
you pile one have people that do know even though this reading has called out you know maybe one or two people that have said to you do you think that that's a good idea i feel like you have a lot of people that would support you and that do see you have these skills and you'd be great for the job so if an opportunity comes up i feel like you're being asked not to be modest not to overthink anything that's been said to you about any limitations and if you have a chance to step up then go for it because to me, there looks like a transformation coming for you in terms of work where you are going to be helping others and be a support for others, okay, in some area of your work life. And it's not just that over the next 12 months, that feels to me like it's part of a continued um, step, a continued step up, if that makes sense. So, okay, I'm going to put these cards back in and shuffle this deck because we're losing a lot of cards from here and I want to use this for the last pile so and then I'm going to do life so I might just speed you up <laughs> okay Okay, let's pop life over here and let's start with the tarot. So we've got strength, king of rings, which is pentacles, three of wands, and Queen of Cups, okay. Horse, creativity, release the thoughts that bind you. Hmm. Ascension and shadow. Hopefully you can see all of those. I'll just move them down a little bit. <clears throat> I love ascension and shadow there. You know, recently I've been talking um, to a lot of people about how I want to bring some balance um, into the readings that I'm doing, making sure that I'm doing readings that address all aspects of the human experience so you know the light and the shadow because I feel like I don't just want to focus on one particular area I want I want to sort of acknowledge all the different experiences and I feel like this is what spirit's saying to you pile one that whatever you have been through over the last few years is coming to a head over the next 12 months and you're going to be recognizing that you're integrating or you've integrated the different aspects of yourself to a point where you are no longer the same person you were um, several years ago, particularly for those of you who identify with that message that was coming through earlier about um, being an overgiver or someone who perhaps was... Um, feeling like they were reflecting back the limitations that others had for them, okay? So if other people were imposing their own ideas on you about who they thought you were or who they thought you should be, I feel like this next year, you're really going to see a blossoming and a, a blooming of who you are. And it's not going to matter one bit about anything anyone else says. It doesn't mean that you're going to go out to war with everyone, but you're just going to be expressing yourself and putting yourself out in a way that you haven't before. And there's something very creative about it. And of course, the horse here is another symbol. Well, for me, it's a symbol of um, freedom of expression. Okay, personal power and freedom of expression. And I actually have a horse that I have sitting right next to me um, while I do the readings for that very reason, because I feel like it connects in with that energy of expressing yourself and being free to say what you really feel. So this is what I feel is transforming for you over the next year. Something about um, releasing. And to me, it feels connected with releasing limitations, something imposed on you. I keep getting that message. So 
it doesn't have to have been explicit. It doesn't have to have been people saying, you know, pile one, you should do this job or pile one, you're really good at that. You should just stick with that. You know, it may have been that, but I feel like you are now questioning and saying, well, yeah, I might be good at that, but I like to do this. So I might be good at A, but I like to do B. And, you know, really, even if that's something that other people might, um, might not agree with or it might not fit in with what they prefer and it could only be one or two people in the environment you, you're starting to push back and just say no I'm going to do what works with me and works for me and so this connecting in with the shadow is really interesting too because it's acknowledging that um, any tendency to <clears throat> feel that you needed to appease others or please others um, is not, let me just find the right words because I feel like it's very specific what's happening here. It's not wrong of you, not, it's not wrong of you not to feel bad about others being, um, you know, put out, you know, if they don't like what you're doing, that's fine. And, and you don't feel bad about it and you're recognising that you shouldn't feel bad about it. And in the past, perhaps there was some guilt around um, not... I don't know why I keep getting this message and it may only be for one or two of you, but there could have been something around um, doing what others did, like particularly when, when I was doing the career part of the reading and I was talking about how you know, there might be someone around who's saying, you know, should you really go for that promotion or should you really do that study or should you really take that step, that they may have felt comfortable with you staying in that same thing that they were doing. So I feel like you're acknowledging that there's nothing wrong with you wanting to follow that. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. If you're ambitious, you know, people may have told you that certain behaviors were selfish or am ambition might be selfish or wanting to um, do things that brought you enjoyment and following your own um, desires they may there may have been some guilt attached to that for whatever reason and I feel like there's a real letting go of that that's happening for you over the next year and you know with all of that the interesting thing the paradox about that is the ascension that comes with that because it's an integrating of all these aspects of yourself and it's your truth and that's why that's why you ascend through this because it's it's living your truth and it's not being what others want you to be so i feel like this is really beautiful and the main thing too well not the main thing one of the other things that comes through is as you move through this process and as you're growing and growing because i feel like this is snowballing for you and becoming more and more powerful this inner voice as this happens you're also manifesting um you're manifesting the romantic connections in your life that you're after and i mean i just looked at love and career today but you're manifesting career opportunities you're manifesting romantic relationships and no doubt if i were to look at other areas of your life there'd be manifestation coming through in those as well because you can't help but affect your outward world when your inward world is changing in this way in this powerful way so this looks really beautiful pile one and i feel like it's going to be a big year for you next year and not necessarily um, not necessarily a year where you are going to make a big shout about it. I feel like there is a real quiet determination to just do what what you want to do and you're going to do it and I don't feel like you're going to be out chasing after love. I feel like you're just going to bring this stuff to you because of the internal stuff that's changing within you and your determination to chase after your dreams but when I say chase I don't mean chase after your dreams um, in terms of rushing out trying to find them everywhere it's just if the opportunities come in terms of career you will put your hand up and you won't be too modest okay and in terms of love you're not going to overextend but you'll make yourself available for things that feel right to you for people who are prepared to put in the work okay so so I need to clarify the way that energy is coming through it's like 
you are putting out the energy for your dreams, chasing them, but not chasing them. All right, <laughs> I hope that I explained that properly. You're not, you're not running trying to track down a partner is what I'm definitely getting, okay? But you are um, connecting with the energy that feels right to you. Okay, sending you so much love, Pile One. I hope that was helpful. Uh, if it was helpful and you did resonate with those messages, I'd appreciate it if you could hit that like button, help me get this um, video out to more people who might enjoy it and love to have you subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, hopefully I'll see you next time. See you later, bye. Okay, beautiful pile two. Let's pop your skull there. Let's move your other cards here and let's have a look. So we've got the five of pentacles, the sun, You've got an extra card here that I shuffled in accidentally, even though I don't think it's ever accidental. The Nine of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Fool. Okay. Be useful with your time. Restock. And the Moon. So, Pile 2, this to me looks like you have something new beginning or deepening over the next 12 months because you've got the Fool card and the Sun card for love. And to me, the Sun card is a big yes, like it's a big affirmation card. And you've got the Sun also showing up in the corner here. And I feel like something big is coming in. So there's either a deepening of an existing connection or the growth of a, a new connection. But I do have to say here that you've got the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands on either side. So there's something here that um, feels also like you may have your guard up. It could be the other person, but it feels to me like it's many of you. Um, you may have your guard up due to some past experience some past ending where you were left um you know feeling out on the cold or feeling like someone didn't take your take you into any consideration here and you could have even said to yourself pile two that you weren't interested in a connection or you may be saying that to yourself now but i feel like when this comes in you you're feeling really happy about it but at the same time it's like, I'm happy about it and I want it, but then at other times I'm not sure and I pull back because you've got the moon here as well. So it's like the emotions from how you feel about this person, it could trigger you into really um, examining your feelings or getting into a space of, do I need more time to replenish after whatever happened or to restock? And do you know what I'm sensing? I'll pull some cards on this in a moment. But to me, this doesn't really feel like holding on to someone from the past. But it feels more like an energy of some of you may have even lost a little bit of faith in love itself. Like the process of love or feeling like, I don't know because I felt like this before with another person initially and look how that turned out. And so when you either deepen a bond with someone or meet someone and have these feelings, then you're almost triggered into this um, energy of, I don't know, I'm, I'm just not sure, do I need more time? And it doesn't even feel necessarily linear to me. I mean, you'll know if this is resonating with you, if you're in this space and you're feeling this way after a past connection, but this doesn't necessarily feel linear. So when I say that, what I mean by that is it doesn't necessarily mean that you meet someone and then you're like, yeah, I really like this person. And then you say, oh, hang on a second and pull back and then go forward. It could be meet them, like them, go forward, pull back, go forward, pull back. It could be that there's just moments over the next um, or over the initial period, the few months that you 
you meet or even like I said for those who are in a connection that they're over the next 12 months that you are really pulling back to reflect and examine whether you are ready or wanting a connection it's like it's like this desire for space to really explore whether you want to trust in this process and let yourself be open to it it's not that the feelings aren't there because I do feel that there's a mutual attraction for this person but with be useful for your time uh, sorry be useful with your time it's sitting right under this five of pentacles it's almost like is falling for someone a good use of my time is spending my time with this person a good way for me to, is it a good investment you could be asking yourself those questions and I feel like it's connected to something from the past. So for those who are resonating, I want to pull some cards on Five of Pentacles and this one wants to come. There we go. Yeah, I do feel that some of you in Pile 2 have said to yourself that you're taking a time out from relationships or you're taking you you're just going to stay single for a while and so this will be unexpected and even if it's like i said a deepening of a connection you may have said i'm taking a time out from anything too serious i'm just going to keep this light i'm just going to keep this casual and yet the feelings deepen the feelings go further on both sides and so that could catch you off guard and you know, look at the posture of this woman in the Nine of Wands. So she looks a little bit um, like she's run a marathon or perhaps a sprint for some of you. You know, it could have been something that came in and out quick. But whatever it was here, she looks tired and she looks like she's really examining or thinking. You know, she's looking at the ground. So she's looking at... Well, not necessarily looking in what she's doing, but, you know, you could say she's looking at her options and where do I want to be and what have I just been through? What have I just done? Just catching a breath, you know, that kind of thing. And so I feel like you may be saying, hang on, this is happening really quickly. These feelings are happening quickly and I'm not sure that I'm ready to embrace it fully. The other person might want to move a little bit more quickly than you feel ready to. Let's come to this Five of Pentacles. I just feel like I just want to get a little bit more on that. Just so you know if this is really resonating. I feel like you will by now know if this is connecting for you. Particularly with be useful with your time. Because that's almost like a thought process about pondering what love is. Pondering whether people are what they are at face value, whether relationships are what they are, that kind of thing, you know, giving them a lot of thought. And it also could be that you're putting time into something else as well. There's that moon again, moon and moon. So whatever ended here or whatever made you feel this way, um, you could not have all the answers as well. There could be something that you're not clear on, not completely uh, understanding or feeling like you're in the know about. Yeah, there, there could be questions for you that are left unanswered. And that might just be making it a little bit, making you cautious. Let's just say making you very cautious. But I do feel like there's something new coming in, something um, really positive in terms of love. So let's go across to this sun card. Spirit, show me more about this sun card for pile two for the next 20, um, I was going to say 24 months. So next 12 months. And maybe because I went to say 24 months, you're saying that to someone. Maybe someone who's listening here is going to say, let's just take things really slow. Slow things down. Could be a message for someone in that. Mm. Yeah, I do feel like this is um, maybe two people that have two different ways of approaching the connection and 
that you will be um, wanting to not necessarily like I don't want to use the word control okay but you're wanting things to not unfold in the way that they did in the past because there's something here about this being unpredictable whatever happened to you or you don't really have all the information and with the magician um just let's just have a look on the bottom here the eight of swords you might feel like everything in your world is just the way that you have made it at the moment like you could be doing a lot of work you could be doing a lot like socially with friends having everything kind of set up the way you may feel like you've just landed on your feet and gotten everything back in order after some kind of upheaval and so then bam in comes this relationship and I feel like that's when you're because you've got this again the nine of wands that's when you are just very wary of not wanting to shake any of that work that you've done not wanting any of those foundations to be um up, upturned let's say show me more about the person coming in or the connection coming in or pile two please spirit like that one wants to come out letter B and I don't usually get letters I'll usually get a word or a name or a song I'm getting the letter B I'm not sure where that's coming through there could be something to do with work here there's that nine of pentacles that's your energy I feel although like I said it could be flipped it could be their energy but I feel for most of you in pile two this is you this could be to do with work. This could be someone that um, you communicate a lot with through the written word. We've got Leo energy on the table there. Of course, that's Virgo energy up there. I feel like this person wants to move faster than you do. That's what I'm getting here. Look at that. Got the Eight of Swords. Yeah, and the Wheel of Fortune underneath. But they have to go at your pace. That's what I'm getting. All right, let's see if we can get any more on where this connection is, say, in 12 months. Spirit, can you show me where this connection is in 12 months, please? There. I feel like you two actually do, um, look at that, beautiful. I feel like you two do actually um, have a discussion about this, that... It doesn't happen for a while because this is a process that you need to work through on your own and decide that you want to move forward with this person. But I love that the Empress is there. I love the Ten of Cups. I feel like this person, it's, I was going to say that you come to trust them, but I honestly feel that this is about trusting the actual relationship and the concept of relationships. I'm not sure what happened up here for those who are resonating with that. But to me, look at that. The Queen of Cups is underneath. You're going to recognize your feelings for this person a deep and also that you can trust them. So there's something about the communication that happens between the two of you that slowly gets you to um, open up to this and trust this more and recognize that this person is very different to whatever happened up here. All right. So I do really like that. It looks... Um, beautiful maybe not straightforward and um you know that's okay it doesn't have to be straightforward not everything in life is but it's processes right people need to go through their own processes and i do feel you're on the tail end and look at that there's that matching king of cups energy so you two are very um aligned here and look isn't that beautiful so asking about the two of you we had queen of cups we've we've got the king of cups we've got the ten of cups so this is a beautiful connection something very different and something very open and honest that's coming in some of you have already met this person but i feel like you're in this uh, nine of wands energy for some so um they are not sure what's going on with you is what i'm getting they're not sure why you back off they don't know the full story necessarily and if they do they don't fully get it 
like why you wouldn't let your guard down with them. But I keep getting the message about telling yourself you're going to be single. You're going to stay single. And um, getting things in order with that magician there. That to me feels like someone who kind of pulled together everything they had to make things happen the way that they wanted them to. So you may have had to have called on a lot of your inner resources, you know, your inner reserves to pull your life back together after some sort of breakup or after someone let you down and you're just determined that that's not going to happen again but I honestly don't um, see that with this person they look very loving they look like a good connection for you you don't have to necessarily be a water sign to have that queen of cups but they were a matching pair so queen of cups king of cups and ten of cups coming up looks like someone who also maybe um, values stability more traditional type of relationship as well so those of you who are interested in that um, that might be the thing that makes you realize that they're quite different to the past person okay let's have a look at career now okay career let's have a look so we've got the empress the queen of swords the Nine of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, okay. Self-reflection will bring answers, adversity, and the wolf, okay. So a couple of things here, pile two. First of all, I feel like you could be, for some of you, in a workplace where there's a little bit of division, it doesn't have to be around you. Like, doesn't <clears throat> doesn't mean that you have to be directly in di division with someone. But there could be um, people who don't necessarily gel together. And I feel like diplomacy is really going to be your friend. Like, just here, I know the two of pentacles can be about options and weighing things up. But how I'm feeling it here is that. It may be important for you over the next 12 months um, not to weigh too heavily on any um, side. If you have two, either two people or two groups of people that are not getting on with each other and these groups may try and get you on board, I feel like being diplomatic will be, um, will be really good for you. Yeah, because you've got the Nine of Swords here and... There could be potential, and I feel like others may get caught into the trap of taking stuff home. You know, the, the Nine of Swords is often shown with someone in the bed or, you know, with the pillow um, there in this imagery here. I feel like this is saying keep your boundaries tight, like just keep everything very uh, factual there with that Queen of Swords. So if someone comes to you and tries any gossip, I would just try and stick to the facts here. Um that's something that people really respect about you. But the interesting thing here is that people may try and drag you more into their workplace um, stuff simply because they know that you carry this kind of empress energy and a lot of other people respect you. So that would be, I, I feel like just being very fair with your words, which you're, obviously you are because you've got that empress card showing up right next to the queen of swords. I'm just continuing to maintain that will be something that you just need to stand the ball for because they may try and do it in ways of just conversation and it might seem like you're just having this conversation, but, you know, it's <laughs> just just be aware of that. That's something I would um, just pay attention to. Self-reflection brings answers here and adversity. Yeah, if there is anything that's um, feeling like it's challenging you in the workplace, I feel like you will be able to reflect back on that and see how you can voice this so i feel like speaking up to people that have the power to bring about change will be a key factor for you because your voice is respected and you know with the wolf imagery the thing about wolves is that the pack is important but also the imagery of the wolf it's often shown alone howling at the moon like in this card right so i feel that what you say has a big impact and if you were to have some kind of thing that you would like to see changed or you had some input that 
if you were to take it to those above or even ideas here this could also represent different ideas um or something that was bothering you even because that's the nine of swords that um you would be able to reflect on that and because yeah the adversity card too you'd be able to reflect on that and know exactly the right way to express that to bring that to the attention of someone who is in the position to be able to help to bring about change there let me just have a look now at some clarifiers i do love that empress card up there um it doesn't go beyond my attention that the empress can mean literally for a few of you you could be taking a break from work for other reasons it could be could be creative reasons but it also could be some of you taking like maternity leave or paternity leave something like that with the empress doesn't have to be but i will just put that out there yeah look the hermit there as well so that can mean taking a time off like some of you may be in some sort of break from work because of um some sort of need to retreat or to pull back from the workplace let's have a look what else Show me more about this Two of Pentacles, please, Spirit. I actually feel that um, even though you've got the adversity card there, <clears throat> I feel like that's talking more about you being able to um, speak out about things, like to bring new, shine light on anything that might need change here. And to me, this feels like it's about boundaries, but let's just keep moving with it and we'll ask about those. I want to ask about this Two of Pentacles, first of all. For pile two, please, Spirit. Two of Pentacles. the star the lovers and the death card okay <clears throat> so the lovers is about choices and the star yeah you could have um some choices that are up for you in terms of career and for those of you who are taking a break it could be deciding whether you want to return to one position or take a new opportunity but with the death card here there could be ch um, choices about some sort of change of department or even who you are working with let me just have a look here Do you know what I feel like I, I want to say here too? And of course, you know, you take what resonates with you and feels right for your circumstances. But in light of what I said earlier, I feel like this these cards are saying to you that um, just be aware of how powerful your words are and your connections at work because you may be connected or friendly with some people that are very high up and there may be... Um, or there may be something about people watching you to try and promote you because of your diplomacy I feel here because look here you've got the death card here the lovers card and the star card so yeah I feel like there's something about your energy the way that you um, are not getting involved in social politics at work that is being looked at and seen as outstanding or different and it's showing up there it is again it's showing up as real boss energy it's showing up as someone who has the ability to uh, navigate the workplace without creating conflict or becoming involved in conflict so that's something really nice but I feel like you need to be aware of not taking on stress okay because it just because you're not getting involved in it and you're not taking on all of the stresses that are going on whilst you're actually there like the verbal stuff doesn't mean you're not taking it home and worrying about it or all of that stuff so I feel like 
Spirit saying to you, just keep your boundaries tight. Make sure you're getting enough rest. Make sure you're not staying up worrying about this stuff. Leave it behind when you walk away from there, okay, because you are respected. And um, let me just have a look here. The Queen of Swords, the Empress. Yeah, the Ace of Cups on the bottom. There also could be a very close bond that's formed between you and someone else as well. Um let me look underneath it. There also could be something to do with more money coming in over the next 12 months. So even if you're not uh, literally taking on some sort of promotion, you may find that there's some extra benefit that comes to you. It could be material. It could be some other sort of benefit, some other form of abundance that comes in towards you. So career looks good. I feel like the... Um, the warning is just to stay away from any politics, which you have already been doing. Continue to do that. Don't take home any stress and make sure that um, you're using your voice in ways that are, you know, if anything is coming up rather than taking it home with you that is really causing you stress, voice it to the people that are in the position to help because, you know, after some reflection on how to do that because you don't, want to be carrying it you don't want to be wearing it you know so that's what these cards seem to be saying to me so of course you take what resonates but that looks pretty straightforward for me I'm not seeing anything huge here in terms of change although some of you will have an option coming up for you okay and some of you are taking a time out from work over the next 12 months and will be deciding whether to return to a previous workplace or start something new. Let me just have a look on this self-reflection before I finish up there. Self-reflection, bringing answers. Can you just give me a bit more on that, please? Actually, I'll pull on adversity because I said I would. I'll do self-reflection first. Can you show me self-reflection, please, spirit? So there could be something that um, rather than just say it like verbally, I did say use your voice, but you can use your voice through the written word as well. This can be um, looking to connections that you have formed in the past as well. All right, people that you go back with, you know, people that you have formed some sort of bond with. It doesn't have to mean going right back to childhood, but there can be things about... It could even be connected to children as well, something that you want to talk to someone about. So I feel like that saying, um, don't be afraid to express yourself because <clears throat> this seems to be what you are, what you, you're coming up as Queen of Swords. So someone who can really articulate themselves and be fair and honest. Show me adversity, please, spirit. What's this adversity about? Okay, so there could be some money situations that you want to... Um, ...bring up, like you might be wanting to ask for more money or more... Um, some kind of abundance, like some sort of remuneration in some way, something about that. Let's just have a look. It's on the bottom here. Even a holiday here. There could be something about wanting to save. So I'm not feeling like adversity is saying that you're going to face adversity, but I feel like it's saying... Um, speak up if you feel like there could be any situation that could lead you down that path, all right? So that's what I have for you, Pile 2, with career. Hopefully that's helpful. Let's have a look at life and see what messages come through there. You might also, um, with adversity and that card... Uh, the three of wands 
you might also find that you do more shifts in order to save some money. That could be the other message that's coming through there for some of you. Let's have a look. So, you have got the Knight of Cups, the Lovers, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Page of Wands. Wow, so I feel like this is um, really symbolic of what's happening for you, Pole 2. You've got this Knight of Cups coming in with the offer of love and then a choice to be made. And that sun, like you making the decision that, yes, I want to move forward with someone I feel very connected to. And the whole wheel turning and you going in a very different direction to what um, you had planned. Even for those of you who are in a connection... I don't know that you really had planned to um, go deep into the connection, even with this particular person. So let's have a look. Be comfortable with change. Yep, that makes sense. Opportunity. Okay. And castle. You just look at this castle. So the castle's got ivy growing all over it. It's a very old castle. You know, the castle to me is somewhere that you feel very safe. And there's something about this connection where you feel safe as well. And this is what you are moving through you're moving through um a process here that's what i really feel learning yeah so you're learning to um you're learning what you want you're learning what you need and you're learning to tr who to trust i guess who to trust and that you want to trust this person silence it could also be about learning when you want to speak and when you want to just disconnect. You know, I get a sense with you, Paul, too, that many people come to you to... Now, this will sound funny, but I'm getting a sense that many people come to you to potentially complain about other people or to... Not just to lean on your shoulder, but literally, I feel like they might come and complain or gripe to you about this person said this and that person said that. And well, what do you say? It feels like trying to get you almost to take sides. And with this silence card, I feel like this is you just remaining objective. It's not to say that you don't have opinions. You may have opinions, but you know um, that it may not be in your best interest to always share those opinions because those people may then use them against you or use them for their own benefit to try and, I don't know, whatever. People are funny, you know, and <laughs> they, they get their, 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 this person said that and they agree, you know, and you don't really want to be drawn into it. You don't want to be in that Nine of Swords energy where you are taking home other people's drama, okay? And it's not just the workplace. I feel like this is anywhere. You are learning, um, well, I feel like many of you have learned this already, but some of you feel like you are always learning which people are going to do this and which people are not going to do this. So you're very good at um, picking that up, you know, watching and seeing what the politics are, sussing out. Yes, okay, that's what's going on here. Some of you may be in new workplaces, okay, and maybe starting to just get a grasp of who is in with who and this person's friendly with that person and that person doesn't like this person and they always have something to say about this and blah 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 as it always goes on but for you it's like I just do my work I keep my head down if someone asks my opinion um, like if a, if a boss asks your opinion or you may be in a boss position, you just give a professional answer or you deliver professional information and you keep it at that. You keep it professional. That's what I get very much a feeling. But in your personal life, there's something shifting with you where you are recognising that someone around you is 
really interested in connecting with you on an authentic and honest level and not in leaving you in that five of pentacles energy and this is causing you to reconsider um where you thought that um pathway was heading where where you had were going before and it's not to say that you're going to let your guard down and undo all of that work that you've been doing to build your life to where it is now I don't feel you're going to do that but this is someone I feel that you can let in who is that you're going to want to let in and um, share things with so that's a different a different feeling altogether but of course you take what resonates for you and you go with what you trust because you're very good at um, reading people, at reading the room, and you're just moving through this process of deciding whether you want to share your future with somebody, whether, you know, what, what you... I, I feel called to say what your beliefs are around relationships and how much you really do believe in them. But that won't be for everyone. But I just feel called to say that, that it's actually about believing in relationships, which sounds like a strange way to put it, but that's the words I'm getting. So I'm just going to pass them on. Anyway, poll two, that's what I have for you. I feel like 2024 is going to be a beautiful year. I hope that that's helpful. I love this imagery in this deck. It's so gorgeous. But um. Yeah, hopefully it resonates for you and you got some messages through there that feel right and connect with your circumstances. And if so, I'd really appreciate if you could hit that like button. Let me know that you like these sort of readings so I can do more of them. And I'd love you to subscribe if you haven't. And if not, or if so, I'll see you next time, hopefully. Sending lots of love. Bye, pile two. Okay, pile three. Let's pop your skull here. We'll put the love card there. And move these here. It's night time now here. I've had something to eat and ready to move into your pile. So let's have a look. What's coming up for pile three? We've got the three of pentacles. <coughs> the moon. The four of pentacles. And the page of wands. Okay, what's transforming for you, pile three? Comparison leads to nowhere. Curiosity and globe, which always reminds me of the world card. You know, <clears throat> the first thing that's coming through for me here, um, pile three, is that it gives a real uh, secret admirer vibe here with the page of wands and the four of coins and even the moon sitting on top. For many of you who've chosen this pile, I feel like you're going to have or may already have someone around you who is um, watching your social media, who you may know is interested in you and attracted to you, but is holding back on coming forward with their emotion, expressing themselves. Um, they could also be comparing themselves to whatever is going on in your world or what they're seeing um, that's sort of posted or what they're hearing about that you're doing, but they're very curious and trying to see if a door is open for them to give this expression, to come towards you. Because two things I'm getting with the three of pentacles up here. One is that some of you who've chosen pile three are already in a connection, but may... Um, but may still have this person around them, okay, this other option. And so they're looking to see, sorry, I was, I was just sitting here looking at it for a moment, but they're looking to see if that relationship is something that is a block to them. Like they're looking and they're saying, well, is pile three available or is this something serious between them and the person they're with? They could also be comparing themselves to the person that you're with for those of you who are in a connection. For others... I feel like they're just holding back, waiting for the right time to move towards you to bring about something bigger. There's something more to this Three of Pentacles. I actually feel called to begin there, but I'll just, I will start there in a moment with clarifying. But I just want to come down to this Globe card because <clears throat> I did mention a moment ago that it reminds me of the World card. So 
I feel your connection with this person is transforming. Either this is a long-term admirer and it may close out or this is something that's going to blossom. So it's like whatever this connection is with this person, it's going to change over the next 12 months in one way or the other. For many of you, I actually feel like it. Um, this person may come out and express what they're feeling. But let's have a look because I feel called to go straight to this Three of Pentacles. The issue here seems to be with them being a bit stuck in their head with that comparison leads to nowhere and the curiosity. Show me the Three of Pentacles, please, for pile three. Yeah, this is what I'm getting here. You've got the Devil, the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So to me, this is potentially someone who has um, felt something for you for a long time. For a few of you, it won't be everyone. This could have been someone you've had some past involvement with, with that Devil card there. But even if you haven't had involvement with them, I feel this person has felt very attracted to you, very drawn to you for a long time and looking to see if there's an opportunity to bring this into some kind of um, manifest form. And we've got the Nine of Cups there. So what I feel transforms for you over the next uh, year is your connection with someone who has had their eye on you for a very long time and been interested in you. And let's have a look and see what your feelings are towards them. Oh, <laughs> okay. That must be me shaking um, as I'm shuffling. I'm getting a bit of a shake up there. The other thing with that Nine of Cups and that King of Pentacles there is... This could be someone connected to um, work for a few of you, work or study. But the main thing that I'm getting through is it's someone who's um, wanting to show you that they're a potential serious partner. So they might be in your circle, but not someone you considered as a serious potential partner. Look at that, the death card, the three of swords, the lovers, the ace of wands. So the end of some kind of block that has been happening in a connection between you and someone else that has been preventing that person expressing themselves to you, expressing what they feel about you and initiating initiating um, something more, okay? Whether this will get off the ground will obviously depend on whether the feelings are reciprocal reciprocal but I do feel for many of you they are because we've got here the death card we've got Scorpio energy on the table Capricorn energy Cancer energy on the table as well and Gemini but it doesn't mean that you or they have to be these signs one of these signs but what I feel is happening is there's going to be a removal of one of the blocks and that could be as simple as this person recognising that they can't stay in a state of watching you from afar and keeping their feelings to themselves. And they may be looking at your social media, even if you see them just as a friend, they might kind of see what you do on the weekends. You might be very aware, they might even comment, but you might not be aware of just how um, drawn to you they are. And so they're coming to a point where they're recognising I can stay I can stay in this curious state but it's not going to lead me to anywhere it's not going to lead to any development and that's what I feel causes this big shift here with this globe energy which is like I said like the world card so they need to close out that cycle of sitting back and 
watching from afar and hoping for some big clue or something to drop out of the sky or for you to just say here here i am and be on the other side of that door saying here i am pile three uh, i'm free or this relationship isn't that serious or i'm available or to close that door and say no i'm not interested this relationship is where i'm at so instead of looking for that clue i feel it's your connection with someone who's interested in you that's going to transform for some of you into a deeper growing uh, love connection for others it will be you saying no i'm going to go deeper with this person and this will transform that connection into a deeper level and it will close the door to this third energy that is just sitting i feel on the um, peripheral on the edges waiting to see if there's a chance with you now let's see if we can get some more information about how you might know this person just for those of you who are connecting with the message and feel like you might know who this is i might just move your skull just there <clears throat> So, of course, they could be one of the signs that I mentioned earlier. I did get a sense that there could be a connection to work or study with that King of Pentacles, but they don't have to be. So let's have a look. How does Pile 3 know this person? Spirit, show me how Pile 3 knows this person. know them through some connection with family you've got king and queen of pentacles you could have had a past connection with them seven of pentacles yeah yeah there could have been a past connection that ended it doesn't have to be that way that will only be for a very few of you but I, the two things that i'm getting is some connection to do with um, a workplace or through a family member, like a, a family member's friend, that kind of energy. So take that if and as it resonates for you. But I feel like you strongly suspect that this person's interested in you and would have links to them. Like they would be someone you'd consider a friend or someone who comments on your stuff, but they just haven't expressed a deeper level of emotion. And what transforms is the nature of the connection so either the door is closed or the door becomes more open and a lot will depend on for those of you already in a connection what you want with that connection or of course for those who aren't in a connection how you feel about this person let's have a look for those who aren't in a connection what their feelings are towards this person or even for those who are i guess just let's see what what's pile three's feelings towards this person There's something about this ground here, crossing. <clears throat> For some of you, there's some kind of um, something they've got to overcome to step towards you. It could be something to do with some inhibitions that they have within here i'm just being very drawn to this ground here and the surface so it's like it's not smooth for them to come towards you it's not easy for them there's something that feels almost like it um, blocks their pathway but it's coming from within so perhaps it's linked to these comparisons leading to nowhere it could be to do with self-esteem confidence 
of course, if if people are comparing themselves, there could be a cue there that there's something about their confidence that they might want to have a look at. Okay, your feelings about this person. Oh, okay. So you've got the Four of Pentacles as well. And you've got the Three of Pentacles. Okay. So... <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. So a couple of cards here, the same. And on the bottom, the six of cups. So this could be someone you've known for quite a while, pile three. And someone that I feel, actually I feel that there's a little bit of um, a two, a, like a double-sided type of emotion for this person on one level you may have felt at times that the two of you are deeply connected and you might have had good um, back and forth with them particularly written back and forth here but you have also held back because something's worried you it could be this third energy something else going on in your life or somebody in your life but you may feel quite connected to this person and like the two of you have some sort of shared history or shared um, bond yeah okay so you've got the judgment card there and the eight of wands so this almost feels like a sense of anticipation like I wish they would just express themselves to me so I knew where they stood and then I would be able to really um, know and look at everything have everything laid out on the table that's what this feels like to me so I feel like for some of you in pile three you also have feelings for this person although I'm not seeing any cups other than the six of cups on the table the feelings for you I feel at this point in time go as far as saying yes we have a um, shared history I feel close to this person we've ha shared a lot of stuff together but there's something that keeps you from expressing it it feels different to the, what keeps them what keeps them to me from expressing themselves feels like it's coming from internally like their own inhibitions and what feels like it's keeping you from expressing feels like some external factors something going on in your life okay but I feel like if they were to open up to you that you would um, want to sit with that for a while and really um, examine what your feelings were, where you wanted to go with that. And it will be different for different people. I feel like that's why I'm not being given a blanket. Um, yes, this pile three has feelings or pile three doesn't. I'm just being shown that pile three has some sort of history with this person. Pile three would like them just to open up and lay their cards on the table and stop beating around the bush. But pile three has also held back on expressing things because of things going on in their life or somebody they're connected to. But this is what's transforming for you, your connection with somebody you have a shared history with who is watching either a connection you're in or watching you to see if the door is open for them to step towards you and express what they feel. That's what this looks like to me. Of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm going to shuffle these back in and move forward now to the career section. Career, let's have a look. <clears throat> what is coming up? for you career-wise in the next 12 months what's transforming the ace of wands the six of wands the magician wow the six of cups that looks really beautiful what have we got here begin and things will flow so before I flip the other two, the first thing that's coming through for me is that many people in pile three are doing something that is um, some sort of initiative of their own. So either you are starting some new project in your workplace or you are actually starting some new workplace. There's something that you're getting off the ground yourself. And I feel like for many of you, you may be having some help or support from someone from your past or even calling on some type of skill or um, talent that you have from the past that someone has taught you, handed on to you. Some kind of resources that you have are going to be putting you in the spotlight here with the Six of Wands and the Ace of Wands right next to it. I feel like other people are going to be looking at you and saying, 
Pile 3 has done something really uh, different, something unexpected. This is what the transformation is. You're moving through um, something wherever you are now into a new beginning, some type of new beginning of a project, a job, or a, even a business venture. That's what this feels like to me. You've got the magician here too. So we've got Virgo Gemini energy. It doesn't mean you have to be one of those signs, but this is about you taking an idea and bringing it into the 3D, into the everyday material world. And this is what's transforming. Something's coming from thought form into solid form. So begin and things will flow. You may have been already toying with this idea, coming up with um, plans around it, building it, talking to people about it, or not talking to people about it, depending what it is. But I feel like the nudge here from spirit is begin and things will flow. And this is your thought over the next 12 months. This is what happens for you. It's just like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to step out and I'm going to start putting things into place to get things moving, happening. What have we got here? Dream. Wow. What are you doing, Pile 3? And Bird. So I love Bird here because Bird's about messages and also with bird, of course, the flight is very relevant and we've got dream. So you're going to feel like you're really getting something off the ground is what I'm feeling. And something is transforming from perhaps a dream that you've had for a long time or something that you felt was only ever going to be a dream. And potentially for a few of you with this Six of Wands card um, here, Potentially, some people around you may have thought that it was all talk and it was only ever going to be a dream. But here it is over this next year actually happening. You begin, you be, you put plans into action and things just flow. Things actually do start to pick up pace and happen and there's lift off. Okay, so this dream becomes reality. Let's start getting into some clarifiers here because this looks really... Um, intense and exciting and beautiful so I want to come down to the magician actually beautiful queen of wands so it takes courage whatever it is it's taking some degree of courage for you to <clears throat> get this plan into motion and to believe in yourself that you have the resources and the skills because even if this is something that you've had for a long time with this Six of Cups. And you could also be doing this with someone from your past or the two of you might have had this idea for a while. Um, even if it's been around for a little while or this is a talent or you're putting to use some skills that you've had for a long time, you still have to use this courage and really have faith in yourself that I can turn this into something bigger. I can take maybe a hobby and turn it into something bigger or a talent and make it something that I can put out into the world. Okay, so because we're talking about career here. So like I said, it won't be a business for everyone. It could be some kind of side hustle, but it could also be a project that you're doing at work or it's something that's yours. It feels like your baby, you know, that kind of energy. Show me more about this, please, Spirit. Oh, one of these cards is flipped. It's a Six of Cups, okay. The Lovers and the Ace of Wands. This is something you're really passionate about, Pile 3. And you've got Ace of Wands twice on the table here. So it's your passion, I feel, that um, that you really bring to the table. And that's what excites other people and helps them to get behind you and helps with the lift off here. That's what's going to really transform it. Maybe the idea was around for a long time. Maybe the skills were around for a long time. 
and um, everything just wasn't quite falling into place. But it's your passion and bringing that together with the timing and perhaps even someone else, everything's just falling into place here. And look at that, lovers. And the magician again. Oh, my goodness. And the devil, okay. So you could be a little bit... Um, a little bit obsessed about it like there could be a lot of time and energy goes into it and I know that sometimes when people are starting off some kind of new business venture or project or plan or side thing um, a lot of time and energy can go into it even if it's something that you're calling a hobby or you're saying it's not a big thing I mean some of you may be saying it is a big thing but um, a lot of time and energy is going into it and also so you're giving a lot of time to it and you also may be investing a lot of your um, own energy and resources into it. So just saying, okay, my, I'm spending this much energy on it or in the daytime, say, I'm just giving an example here, I work at my day job and then I come home and I spend all these hours working on this because I have a passion for it and because I can see that it's getting off the ground and it's a dream of mine and I'm seeing things start to flow. So something's really transforming for you of all the piles, pile three, career is coming up huge for you. So if you were drawn to this reading because you... um had a burning question about career and starting something new I feel like this is a huge sign for you that there is going to be massive massive um, lift off and energy and momentum behind whatever it is that you're feeling passionate about and wanting to get off the ground just going to see what else comes out here around this Ace of Wands at the top. I know we've got it at the bottom as well. You have some repeat cards, which is making me wonder if for some of you, maybe this is the second go around or, or a revisiting of a previous um, plan that you had that needed a bit of tweaking. Perhaps you, you're revisiting something and you're saying, I'm going to do that again but I'm going to do it just a little bit differently. And whatever it is, it all just seems to fall into place. <clears throat> okay, just... I feel like your career cards are so <clears throat> straightforward here. So you've put a lot of research into this as well is what I'm being shown. A lot of work. For some of you, you have studied a lot to get where you are career-wise. Um, even if this is a project within a company or within your current job, you've worked hard to get where you are and this is well-deserved. This success that you're about to go through and this big transformation in your career is well-deserved, okay? I can see there with the Justice card and the Eight of Pentacles, you're very passionate about whatever it is you do and you bring that passion to the table and you put in the time and the, um, not just the passion, but you put the actual hours and energy into this. And so I feel like this is like a big payoff after putting so much in and feeling like I'm spending so much energy on this. When is it going to actually come to fruition? I feel like the next 12 months is when. That's what I'm seeing here for you, pile three. Okay, I'll just put one more card on this one just to finish up because it just looks so amazing. And then I'm going to see what is coming up in life or what other messages come up for you. <clears throat> so I'm not going to take all of them. So just too many. Okay, I'm going to split this deck. Yeah, look at this. So financially, it looks like things really pick up for you too over the next year. Even though I said you're going to be spending a lot of your resources, I feel like that's in terms of time and energy and skills. But I feel like the rewards, like you're planting seeds so that you can start to see rewards coming in. And this to me looks like you're starting to reap the rewards. So you may have already started doing little things around this and 
it looks like the payoff or some of the rewards start coming in before the year's out. So this looks absolutely amazing. And I don't just feel the rewards for you are about money. Like I said, this is about something you're passionate about. And also you have worked hard towards this, okay? And you're skilled in it. You're good at it. You, There's history here as well. Potentially history between you and another person who's helping you. But I feel like there could even be history in the sort of work you do. Either it's something that's passed down or the skills involved in the work are passed down through maybe family or some kind of line like that. But take that if and as it resonates. But that's what I have for you career-wise. It looks incredible. Okay, I'm going to move on to um, life now. I'm going to pack these away. Let's have a look at life so your career cards look absolutely incredible <clears throat> so we've got the knight of cups the eight of wands the six of swords the nine of cups you know these cards look to me like they run in a sequence here, pile three, because this Knight of Cups to me is about you following what it is that you really want and desire in your life, not just in career, but in love, in all areas. And for some of you, it's going to be because you either receive some sort of offer or information, but for others, it's just because you have some inner realization or epiphany with this Eight of Wands that you want to move towards whatever it is that really aligns with your heart and brings you happiness. And I feel like Spirit's saying that um, because you do that, you're going. it's going to lead you towards wish fulfillment, towards whatever it is that you want. And the interesting thing is that because of this wish fulfillment, because of this happiness, it leads you down the path then of trusting in the process and then moving back to this Knight of Cups and back again and this continual process of recognising that I'm okay to follow what it is that I want. This is the right pathway for me. And because of that, you keep manifesting and bringing about these desires and um, wishes that you have or these dreams. Let's have a look at the other cards here. Do more of what you love. Yeah, see, that that's exactly what this feels like. That's what you're going to be doing, pile three, doing more of what you love. And very consciously, I feel, doing more of what you love. Agreement. Hmm. That could connect in here with this eight of wands. So, um... <clears throat> That could be someone coming to you with an offer, but it also could be you having someone who really has your back, like feeling that you have a really supportive person around you. And grape. I really like that, actually. So, so grape, so a couple of things are coming through for grape. The first thing is that grape is about... Um, being ready to receive the fruits of your labor, let's say, ready, knowing that there's enough abundance out there for you um, if you want to align your energy with that. So all you need to do is put yourself out into the world in the way that you um, want to connect with this energy and knowing and trusting that there is enough for you. But also I feel like with this grape, I'm being drawn to like all the grapes here and the fact that you will be aligning with other people who feel like your tribe, they feel like your group, you know, aligned. And this could also be in terms of anything you are creating as well. So I feel like um, bunching together really with and, and that doesn't mean to the exclusion of all others necessarily but finding those people that you really feel connected to and recognizing that um, there's enough like there's a, lo a lot of beautiful um, wine a lot of beautiful rewards from 
what you're putting out into the world because you're putting out this beautiful loving energy so that's what comes back that's what flows back you've got opportunity hopefully you can see those cards so with opportunity eight of wands and agreement there could definitely be something for you pile three about a, like literally about a person connecting with you and making some sort of offer or offering some opportunity or even a contract or something like that coming up because you've got agreement like there could be something about that but I feel like you really experience things opening up and you know it's largely because of your shift in energy and you've got root here So this is allowing you, all of this that's going on is allowing you to really feel that you're connecting in with your authentic self in all areas of your life. And I love this bird that's sitting above her head. So it's like you're taking your authentic self out into the world in many ways. So in career, in love, in friendships, in connections, and you're feeling very grounded that's what, what it looks like here. Let's have a look. of like grounded literally with the roots there. And because you're feeling grounded, I feel like you're getting a lot, um, a lot of inspiration as well. A lot of new ideas. Your intuition's on point. Look at that. Huge transformation for you. So we're talking about um, the changes and the transformations coming in for you. Pile 3, you have massive changes on a personal level, on a career level, and potentially for those of you who want it, um, with a person who may have been a friend for a long time and are resonating with that message in the area of love as well. Okay, just want to get one or two more cards here before I wrap this up because I feel like your um, pile has been pretty intense like talking about the changes that are coming in okay and of course that's scorpio energy doesn't mean you have to be scorpio but so I feel like these cards here, the Four of Cups, the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups may be saying to you that some of these opportunities or a particular opportunity may already be around you or someone who's ready to make that offer may already be in your sphere or your vicinity at the moment and um, you might not have yet noticed them or may not be seeing that this person is around and might not be yet seeing how this is going to unfold okay because we are talking about the next 12 months and so even though you have this passion this person may want to come together with you collaborate help or put some sort of offer forward it might not yet have come into your awareness is what i'm feeling that's the last little message i'm getting through there and of course we have the knight of cups on the bottom so for you pile three this is all about you bringing your passions into your 3d and expressing yourself on so many different levels and um, sharing and shining your light into the world. I feel like many of you are very creative in Pile 3 that have been called to, to Pile 3. So anyway, I mean people are creative in all sorts of different ways, but I feel like you have something that you want to put out into the world of a creative nature, I should say. Okay, sending you lots of love. I hope it, that was helpful. And if it was, please hit that like button. Help me get this video out to more people. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye, Pile 3.